Hello, my name is Ted. I am a repair technician for Whole Latte Love uh, Repair Center. I will be showing you how to remove and replace your stats, your, your brew stat and your steam stat on your boiler in case you have a heating issue um, on the Gaja Classic. Um, and this will actually work for all the Gaja Baby machines um, and a couple other machines. Um, so the only tools you really need is a 17 millimeter wrench, a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's long. It doesn't really matter if it's magnetic tip or not. We're only taking out the two screws on the top. Uh, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of little snips, or anything to cut zip ties with. Okay. And that's all you're going to need. So the first thing, of course, is to remove the lid. We're going to take this lid off and set it aside. We got two screws back here. Those are the only ones that are holding this whole top panel on. The front of the panel is just held in by these little teeth. There's one big one and two small ones underneath it. The big one is on top. So when we remove these screws, you will be able to remove the whole lid. And that is lift up on the back, just like I am here. And it's gonna pop out of the hole that the funnel's in. And then you can slide that out of the teeth like oh, that, yeah. okay? And then we can just pull the whole lid and set it off the side. Just be real careful because these two little screws, you can break the plastic on them if you put a lot of force on them. Okay. And then you're going to have a lid that doesn't want to stay together. Good tip. <laughs> All right. Um, so the stats we're going to replace is this one here is your steam stat. Okay. And then there's one down here on the side, which is your brew stat. Um, if you have a Kaja Classic that has a zip tie around the neck, just cut it off. They all don't have a zip tie on it. Sometimes they will if they came in for repair at any point, and we like to put them on around the, the tube and hold the pump away from the funnel. Okay. Uh, so if it's on there, just cut it and get it out of your way. Now all we gotta do is we gotta remove the wires. You can take a picture of how the wires are on here. We're only gonna take a few out, but I know where they go, so I'm not really worried about it, but if you're worried about it, you can label them however you want, one, two, A, B, top, bottom, left, right, whatever you want to do with a marker, or just take a picture with your cell phone, a couple pictures so you can reference to it when you're ready to put the wires back on. So these are the two wires that go to the steam step. This one, as you can see, is easy to get to. We just got to remove the wires, get the 17 millimeter wrench on it. You know, we're, you're not going to be able to get a straight shot at it because of the housing, but you only need to break it free. It's just snug tight where you can't spin it off with your fingers. And as soon as you get that unscrewed just a little bit, you can unscrew it with your fingers as you can see. And then once you get it all the way out, it's got a little tiny neck on it. Okay. And you can set it outside, get your new one, put it in. This is your steam stat. The steam stat on the Gaja machines will have a little red dot on it. They have a temperature reading on the side of 250 right here okay mm -hmm. so you're going to put the new one in all you got to do is line the neck up with the hole and start threading it in you'll feel around and make sure it gets the the start that it needs i'm doing this backwards i'm usually working from the front of the machine mark is in front of the machine right now <laughs> so i got it started you're going to screw it down until you can stop with your fingers and that's right there you don't want to keep trying to force it because you'll twist the housing off of the brass part. Okay. Okay. Once you get that snug with your fingers, you're, you're going to take the wrench and you're just going to give it a little bit of a turn, just a little. Because if you go too far with that, you're going to break it right off of that little thread neck at the bottom. So just, just snug. Just no. snug it, just a hair. Because if you break it off, then you're in a whole world of other different problems. Because <laughs> okay. uh, you won't be able to get the neck out of the boiler. You won't be able to hold the stat on it. That means you're going to have to replace the boiler and everything. Okay. Um, so just snug it a little bit. And then you can hook your wires back up. Boom, boom. Like that. And it doesn't make a difference which side they go on? It doesn't really. I just like but to put them back in the, the same way, way they, they came out. Okay. okay. Um, as for the other one, that one's a little bit more trickier because you can see it's on the side of the machine. Um, it's just, it's hard to get to because it's such a small area. And again, the housing, you know, is a little sharpened area. So you just got to watch out for that. The easiest way I found to remove the wires off of the, the stat down here is to use a flat blade screwdriver and just kind of push on it from the side. 
Okay. You know, you push on the white part and it'll pop it off. And then I'm gonna to try to work around here so Mark can see what I'm doing. Am I in your way? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting Basically, in your way and you're going backwards. <laughs> you just wanna wedge the screwdriver in there the best you can. I got the, the cap started to come off and when you get it in the right spot, you can actually just twist the screwdriver and the flat part of the screwdriver will work it for you. Okay. And you can see now that it's completely off. So now we got the wires off of it. We can kind of move these out of the way. Before we wouldn't be able to because they were being held down from those two wires there. Okay. Now we can get at it with a wrench and just break it free. Find the spot, there we go. So it broke free, you unscrewed it just a hair. And this is where it gets tricky. You gotta get them fingers down in there. Yeah, I mean, you? if you got smaller hands, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so once it gets loose, you can either use the wrench and continue doing this. Uh -huh. uh, it just takes, I'm gonna use my other hand. Okay. Because I can get it in there like this. Um, so now I can actually unthread it. Now these stats will have a white uh, heat transfer compound on them. Um, there will be enough left on the boiler for the new ones to be on there, okay. but you can see it'll get all over your fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, same deal, it's got a little threaded neck. It's the brew stat. The brew stat will not have a red dot on it. The brew stat is also a lower temperature rating. Let me see if I can find it. 107, L107. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's how to remove it. You set it outside, get the new one, and you're gonna, I'm not using a new one because these ones are fine. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're just, I'm just gonna hold it with the two fingers. I'm gonna drop my hand down there and I'm gonna feel for the hole for the neck. Okay. And once I feel the hole, I'm gonna try to start it by just turning it with my, my thumb and finger. As you can see, I got it started. And then you're just gonna thread it on all the way until you can stop with your fingers and I'm at the stopping point. We're gonna take the wrench. We're just gonna crank on it just a hair to give it that nice snug tight fit where it's not gonna vibrate loose or anything. But you're not putting any real force on it. No, that. I mean, it's you saw simple. how much it turned. It just turns yep. just a hair. You yep. can feel the restriction on it a little bit when you're doing it. Okay. Uh, but like I said, don't wanna go too far because you'll break it off that little threaded neck and that's not good. Okay. All right, so now that we got the new stat in there, we can just flop these wires back down. Just kind of push them in the general area that they were in. And then this is also the other tricky part. Getting those wires back Getting on. your fingers in here and getting the wires back on. But if you can get your hands in there and feel around with the wire, I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but I yeah. felt, I grabbed the wire, I had it in my hands and I felt around until it slid on and then I just forced it back on with my finger. And again, make note of which one came from which side, but is it another case where it really doesn't matter? It's also, you? yeah, it's another case where it doesn't matter, but... You like to have them on the one. I do, but on. also yeah. the same thing is the wires have a shape to them. Okay. So they tend to go back to where the same they? area where they came from because sure. of how long they've been formed like this. Okay. So we have the wires back on, and literally that's how you change both the brew and the steam stat. Okay. Um, and then also if you have to and you can't get the wires to get out of your way and everything, mm -hmm. you can cut some of these zip ties and move it out of the way. Okay. Um, you just put your new zip ties back on when you're done and bunch it up the best you can and make it look all nice and everything. Beautiful. Um, and that's basically it. And then it's just a matter of putting the top back on, um, funnel first, and then you're going to angle it down and make sure that lip of your front of your top goes. Uh, I'll try to get it there. There we go. The so it goes over the two small teeth and under the big tooth. Okay. And then it drops down, it won't fall in, so you gotta pry it a little bit like that and get then that let it drop down. Okay, and then just the two screws. Back and then there's two okay. screws and you're good to go. All right, Ted, thanks so much for taking us through. You're welcome. Wanna learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.